So, you've installed like a thousand mods for GTA 5, but you still find your driving experience lacking? Well, look no further. This is V-Funks V. Analog dials, pedals, windshield wipers, handbrake, sequential shifter knobs, fans, and so much more. These are just some of the possibilities that this mod can already be used for. V-Funks V is an extensively customizable script mod for Grand Theft Auto V that adds support for many different types of brand new vehicle behaviors. Like to develop your own vehicle mods? Then consider adapting this mod to your next vehicle project by reading the V-Funks documentation. It's time to stop playing games and start getting real. V Funks V. This is the tutorial section for V Funks V by the real Zolika on GTA5Mods.com. First and foremost, what we're going to need for this to work is a functional vehicle no pun intended, that uses V-Funks V. For this tutorial demonstration, we will be using the 1994 Volvo 850 T5 Turbo US spec add-on extra with V-Hunks V capability and level of details. Uh, go ahead and download it. Don't forget to like, follow, and bookmark your favorite mods on GTA5Mods.com. This vehicle is made by JD Import. Once we go ahead and get that downloaded, we're also going to need to launch Open 4. Okay. Now we've got the files downloaded. We have V Funks V at the top. I'm going to right click on my start menu here and go to uh, File Explorer. I'm going to locate my main GTA 5 directory because I play on the Epic Games version. We're going to go to my C drive right here. Oops, D drive, C drive, Program Files, Epic Games, GTA V. Once you're up inside there, this is going to be considered the main folder for GTA 5 so we want to drag the vfunks.asi and folder into our main GTA 5 directory and if you are a car mod developer read the vfunks v document that is going to give you all the details you need to customize your vehicles the way you want them if we look inside the vfunks v folder this is where we'll be placing uh, cars that are compatible with this mod this is where we'll be placing their configuration settings files. So this is just a sample. We can get rid of the sample. So now that we have VHunks installed, we have our vehicle downloaded. Let's go ahead and in the archive, open up the folder here. We're gonna click on the VFunks folder and we are going to drag this I and I into our VFunks folder in our GTA directory. So click on your GTA directory VFunks file, go back to the download and drag the I and I straight in just like that. Next, we're going to be adding it to Open 4. So what we need to do is launch Open 4. We're going to go to Mods, Update, X64, DLC Packs, Enable Edit Mode, click Yes. We're going to extract this 850SW folder out, drag it straight into Open 4. Then we're going to look at this How to Install text. It's going to give us this item line we need to copy. Go ahead, right click and copy the selected text. Go back to your main GTA 5 directory and open 4, click on mods, update, update.rpf, common data, or is it data? And then scroll on down, make sure edit mode still enabled, right click DLC list.xml, click edit, scroll down to the bottom, create a new line, and we're going to paste in that item line text. All right, so if we take a look back in that vfunks folder that we just put that I and I file into this is going to show us all the things that V Funks modifies on this vehicle. Going back to the actual download page, the author tells us that the V Funks mod does affect the gear, handbrake, wipers, gas pedal, and 
brake pedal. I hope this was an informative tutorial for you, and I hope to see you in the next video for GTA 5. Until then, I'm your guy, V3RY, very high. Have a safe and happy holiday. Goodbye.